All right, so here we are at I Love Maj, and tonight is Wednesday night skill building. My name is Debbie Barnett, for those of you that don't already know me. Um, I am pretty much all about Mahjong. Uh, so uh, tonight I, I bring uh, hopefully uh, some help uh, with skills while I'm playing against the bots on ilovemaj.com. And I do run events in the villages where I live and also and all year round actually, and also online events. So if you are following me on YouTube or if you follow me on Facebook, you'll see me posting a lot about the different events that I have. A lot of them are special events that I have on Monday nights, um, they're also live streams. And if you can't make them, they will always be available for replay on my YouTube channel, which is Majcon, M-A-H-J-C-O-N. I'll put that in here. And as well, uh, you, whoops, I think I made that directly to one person. Let me fix that. And as well, if you follow my, this is the YouTube channel. If you follow me on Facebook, you'll already be probably a member, but I have a few that are really good, especially for newer players or players that run into a lot of situations with rules because it's all about rules, this Ask the Majog teacher. And then, I also have the same name for my MajCon Facebook group. So those two groups, I would encourage you to become a member of if you're not already, so you don't miss anything and join my MajCon YouTube channel as well, because you'll see when things go live. Uh, and everybody who's familiar with YouTube gets right away a notice that I'm going live, especially if you click the bell to get notifications. All right, so ilovemaj.com is one of several online platforms where we can play with our friends or against bots. It's a really great platform. I am an affiliate of theirs. I started using their platform and I was a fan of it before I even became an affiliate. Uh, so I don't, I didn't start using I Love Maj because of that. But it's nice to have the affiliate with them because they give me one extra week for my uh, followers to get three weeks as a free trial membership instead of the regular two. So if you're not a member of I Love Maj, in the video description of every one of my videos on my YouTube channel, or you can email me at Debbie at MajCon.com, and I'll send you the link. It doesn't matter. But if you use my affiliate code, you'll get that three weeks. And that link, like I said, is in the description of every one of my YouTube videos, every one of the skill building videos for sure uh, that are there on the playlist, skill building playlist on my YouTube channel. Try it out. One of the things that's amazing for newer players, it, it, I mean, in addition to playing with the bots, which I'm going to go over in one sec, because we're going to be playing against bots tonight, the exercise room is one of the best places to learn the card and practice your skills. So please don't forget to come in here and try out the exercise room. You have nothing to lose because you have three weeks free. And after that, it's so inexpensive, the best gift you can give yourself. All right, now I go back here up to the game launch pad, which you can access up here, play game launch pad, all of these things, great videos, uh, le learning tutorials, everything on this site. It's just wonderful. All right, so, and they also have Siamese now. Cool. So if you're a Siamese player, try it out too for Siamese. I'm going to be playing against the bots. And you 
if you're a new player, come in and play for fun right here. Enabling practice mode gives you hand suggestions and a discount discard counter. So this is a wonderful way to practice against the bots. And the difference between just for fun and official is that when you play official, it records your wins and losses and gives you a ranking. So it does rate you. And that's nice if you do play a lot and you want to see how you stand up to the other players that play at I Love Mosh. Now, the bot levels here are standard equals beginner, intermediate, and advanced. And in all honesty, um, I myself don't play against the standard because I am aware that I have an advantage over a beginner bot because they make beginner moves. Uh, for example, they may pass a pair during the Charleston or they pass flowers or they may throw Mahjong at the end of the game when an intermediate or advanced player would not. Intermediate, yeah, I pay attention to the things that it does, uh, an intermediate bot does that maybe an advanced player doesn't do. But the reason I've been using level two is because it does uh, it allow the game to go on a bit more and the advanced players are a little advanced bots, I should say, are a bit more challenging. And I think for tonight's purpose, intermediate works out pretty well. Uh, not that they're not tough and not that I don't lose <laughs> a lot of games uh, to the intermediate because I do. A lot of it's luck, uh, but a lot of it's skill. Okay. So in my opinion, I'd say that when you're a really good, advanced, skilled player, maybe you've got about 70% skill and 30% luck. Some people think it's a little bit higher than that. Maybe so. I think over time, statistically, maybe that comes out to be 70-30. But the new players have a huge amount of beginner's luck when they win. What you want to have happen is you want that luck field to get narrower and the skill field to get bigger. So you want it to be your winnings to be relying on skill much more than it does on luck. So yes, as a beginner, you're going to mahjong once in a while, but it's mostly going to be because you got pretty lucky. All right, so um, <clears throat> without any further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to go ahead and launch the game. <clears throat> and this is going to pop up if you're playing official and you just want to say no. Uh, if you do want to play against other players, you can say yes and see who's online. Uh, for tonight's purpose, it would interrupt what I'm doing and bump me out of the room. So I don't want to have that happen. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to. Sorry about that. Now here at this screen, if you wanted to change your bot level, you could also do it here as well. The auto ignore timer, I leave off what this is is how long it takes you to make a decision when a discard is on the table as to whether you want to call it or not. Just like in person, you see a discard goes down. And if you're an experienced player, you pretty much can, you know, you know whether you need it or not. Not that we don't, as experienced players, say, hold up, give me a second, I need to think about this, because we do. Sometimes we just have like, several things going on and we got to figure out which one is going to be best for us. But even if you were to choose 10 seconds and you need more time, there's a pause button, just like the two lines, the two vertical lines um, on a, uh, you know, when you're on um, any video to pause it, 
So you don't have to worry about running out of time, but it's a very good indication of how long it takes you to make a decision. We want to try to get down to the four second mark if you can. For tonight's purpose, I leave it off. I don't want to have to think about a timer. I want to take my time and that's it, period. Oh, hello, everybody who's just joined and uh, Carol and Janet and safe travels to New York tomorrow, Janet. Uh, I feel honored that you were able to make it tonight. You should be packing, I would think. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's start this game and get the show on the road. Now, how does the volume sound in the game? I can't see you, so put it in chat if the volume is too low. I did just raise it up a bit. I want you to be able to hear the discards when they go out and the tile naming. All right, now we are uh, going to go ahead and start the Charleston after I get these tiles sorted by suit. This is the way I like to sort my tiles initially. And it is just a way to organize them right now into suits in priority order. So it's or numerical order, I should say. So this is the way I set them up. And I typically put my winds and dragons to the right just until I know whether I'm going to be using them or not. All right. So now we look at this and we're like, what do we do with all of this? How, what direction do I go in? Well, the best thing to do if you have multiples is to work off of those multiples first. And... I already see that I have multiples of fours and nines, and I have my my dragons as well. So I'll stick those there too. But I know, knowing the card the way I do, that fours and nines do not get along very well. They're just not very good neighbors. <laughs> so I'm going to have to look at each of these individually to see what I might want to do with either of these two pairs. And I may have to give up one of them and work on just the other. So starting out with the fours, you know, again, I know the card, so I'm going to know what direction I'm going to go in with my tiles, right? Learning the card. Number one, most important thing about getting to be a better player. When you're just starting out, you're going to have to look at the categories and think about whether or not what you have goes. So fours would be a 2024 category for one. And I know that in that category, we need our soaps, which are also our Dr. Jekyll and Mr. High tile, turning into the zero. Soap or white, whichever you prefer to name it. And when you do name it, don't add on the word dragon because we don't say green dragon, white dragon, red dragon. When we play American Mahjong, we just say soap or white, green, red. Easy. We make things easier so we don't need to add more words. Same way with winds. We don't say west wind, east wind, south wind. We just say west, east, south, north. Uh, simple, right? Okay, so I know that 2024 uh, is definitely uh, going to work out for those. And then I have to look to see, do I have any other twos or fours? And I have one other two. That's okay, because this is the time, the Charleston, when we build on our potential hands that we're going ultimate, to ultimately end up playing. All right, so what else could we do with the four? Well, I also know that in the consecutive run section, there are several hands that could work out with a one suit with the two, four, and five. You have to be able to imagine what could be and not just think you're going to see one thing right away. So 
For instance, it could be line one, two through five, and one through five that could happen. It could be line two, which calls for one suit for the numbers and the opposite dragon, any other opposite dragon, which would be the red or the, the soap, uh, fitting into a run. So it may look like this, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, who knows, I may get ones and it may, and threes, and it may be one, two, three, four. But nonetheless, I know that that's a possibility. So I want to keep that open too. It also can be a line number, or let's go easier, second from the bottom in consecutive run on the left side, which is four numbers in a row in one suit. Right now, I haven't looked at the right side with the two suits, but right now I know that it could be the left side. So it could be two, three, four, five. Okay, so we've got good potential right there with those particular tiles. And let's see if there is anything else that I can see that would work out well. I would look at like numbers, of course, with fours and any like numbers category. I don't have any other fours. They may happen in. So as long as I'm aware that I could be playing in that category, maybe I'll get some more fours during the Charleston. Okay, let's see what else that we can add on here that might make sense for two, four, five. Well, let's see. Um, I might keep the one and the three because the ones and threes and twos and fours are all consecutive numbers in multiple suits. Well, if you look at consecutive run section, we don't have just one suit runs. We have three colors in many of the lines. So that means you could collect all of the numbers surrounding that multiple of four, because then you have even more flexibility. Lots going on, right? A lot to think about. So. I actually right now am pretty pleased with keeping everything up through the soaps and I will have to make sure that if I get tiles in that I want to hold on to, I don't get stuck having to pass a pair. So you've got to be aware who, at what juncture you've got to break those up. So you don't want to get stuck holding the pairs, getting in a lot of tiles you don't want to give up. And then let's say having to pass two of those on your second left or the second across. That takes a little bit of finagling, but if you kind of be aware of it, I'd rather you break them up earlier than later. So in this case, I am going to go ahead and... Um, I'm going to break it up right now, and I am going to remember here that I passed a nine crack, and I will do everything in my power, not that I have a lot of control over this, not to pass the nine crack again during the Charleston, because then somebody might end up with two of them. But again, I have no real control over that, especially if I want to build what I I'm working on and my priority really is to build my hand then try to be as defensive as you can when you're passing in the Charleston so let's see what happens here um I think I'll do you know what eight nine or seven nine both of those are good passes uh but I'm not going to worry about it because you can't worry about every pass just try to follow a few rules not passing a pair if you can help it. Um, some exceptions to that, not passing flowers. They are a gift. So many hands need a pair of flowers or a conga flowers and a quint of flowers this year. 
So don't give a gift away if you can help it. So I'm going to go ahead and do this um, and see what happens here. So I got a one in. Again, it could be helpful to keep that in there right now if we have tiles to pass. I also got two wins in. You know, do I want to consider keeping the wins, getting rid of something else? Because there is the third line under Winds and Dragons that's pretty popular. I think to myself, well, maybe I'll get more either north and south or east and west. That might be a, a good thing. Ooh, I don't know. Um, if I did keep it, it has to be two different numbers in opposite suits. So it has to be three and four or three and four. Either one can be used. Do I want to keep that and try to get rid of something else just to see what comes in? Well, remember I said to you I didn't want to pass the nine out? Well, this is a situation where I don't want to quite give up other stuff. But... Let's see, one, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so if I wanted to go ahead and see if and hold these just for a little bit, I could, but then I'm not going to need uh, the, the dragons unless I consider the second hand from the bottom under Winds and Dragons with the news. And then I'd have to give up the other four pair of fours. It's a lot to think about. Hmm, maybe I won't. I've even got a little bit of one, three, three, five going on here, but that doesn't include my pairs either. And uh, you heard me say, work off of the pairs because pairs are a strength, but there are times they, I've had a pass. I've had a break up both because it was just not leading. Neither were leading in that direction. I think I'm going to go ahead and let's see. What do I want to pass? Um, I'll do this for right now uh, and, and do the north and east. I don't love to pass like a north and south or an east and west because of the fact that there are that line number three is so very, very popular. And the third line from the bottom under Winds and Dragons is probably not as popular because it's got three pairs, but I don't know. I'll see. I'm like kind of torn right now as to what I want to do here. So now I got another one and another three. And interestingly enough, um, you know, what has happened is, again, I'm, I'm going more toward the ones and threes, and I don't have to give this up quite yet, but one, three, and four. One crack, three dot, and four, bam, don't really make a whole lot of sense right now. In as far as a mixed suit run, line number three under consecutive run on the right side, not too, not too good right there. Um, I have no jokers, so I'm going to give a quick look at the singles and pairs. Uh, you know, I do have all of this right here for singles and pairs line three. Um, I don't love to play singles and pairs when I have beginners with me tonight because I know that that's like going to bottle me into one thing unless I can manage to keep track of that and keep everything else that makes me happy. <laughs> uh, but uh, it is really challenging right now because I don't know what's going to be happening with those fours. It is really challenging. If I wanted to keep an eye on any like numbers with ones or threes and then kind of switch gears, maybe I could keep um, the fours. This is really 
didn't end up going the way I even thought it would go. Um, keep the fours so that if something does happen with a mixed suit run, it might work. Maybe keep the five. If I were to get two dot, three dot, four bam, five bam, that could be my second from the bottom on the right side. Wow, this is really a challenging decision. Um, I never got any more twos or fours. So the 2024 section is kind of like, that's gone out the door already. Um, feel free to chime in, guys, if you see anything. I am really torn. I know I'm going to, I think I'm going to do that right now. See, I could keep, no, that I don't want to keep that. One, two, three, four. Uh, that nine that I said I wanted to keep. Ooh, ones and threes and fours and fives. I think I'm going to have to do something. What, Randy? Get rid of the nine. Randy said get rid of the nine. Uh, yeah, I can't worry about somebody getting the two nines in their hand. And now I think I'm going to do a blind pass since I can do it and hope that I get something in that gives me some direction as to what I want to give up. Oh, it's really not a, this is a challenge. If it's a challenge for me, I kind of know how it would be a challenge as a beginner. And I remember that no matter how long ago it was, I remember. Oh, golly, I got that second nine back. Uh, so now the challenge is, did, did Agatha, who's my bot player on the left, did she keep the nine? And if I continue the Charleston, which I'm going to continue, of course, um, don't stop it unless you have one very strong hand that has formed, not because you're torn between two. Um, so yes, I'm going to continue and these would be my two that I'd want to get rid of. And I'm going to hope that Agatha didn't keep that nine crack. Oh, right. What other tile should I get rid of? Anybody who's watching want to chime in? I'm watching my zoom chat. I'm waiting for my husband to tell me what he would do. Get rid of the green. What happens if I get more like numbers in line two of any like number starts coming in? If I get more ones or threes? Chuck the five. Okay. Um, okay. And then that still leaves me the ability to break up the fours if I get more ones or threes. I think that's a good choice, Randy, the five. Oh, Carol said the green too. Woo. Ah, geez. Okay, well, we're doing this. Oh, yay. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. I got a five and I gave a five out. What do you know? Well, we know we don't going to keep the north at this point. Um, Because we're now on the second across and I didn't, I don't have any other wins. Three, four looks pretty there, but I don't have any wins. All right. So now I got in another three. And I'm going to keep the, well, let's talk about this hand right here. That's line number two of any like numbers. It could also end up being line number one, of course, as well, if I get flowers in. And then let's see what else we could think about doing here. I could keep the ones for maybe one crack, three crack, three dot, five dot, if I get it, line two of one, three, five, seven, nine on the left side. But I'm missing my fives. I'm aware I could get them. And I'm not so sure what I want to get rid of here because maybe, see, if I were to get two dots, then I have two, three, four, five. 
And do I want to keep that and break up the one, two, three, four, five, or one, three, three, five. Okay, so here's my thinking. The two dot, if I were to do line, keep an eye on line number uh, second from the bottom under consecutive run, two dot, three dot, two dots missing, right? Two dot, three dot, four dot, five, bam. Then I've got a pair in the force position, which is a Kong, needing more tiles than a Pung, and a one, five, bam there. If I do one, three, three, five, I do have three, three dots in that Kong position for one, three, crack, three dot, five dot, second hand down on one, three, five, seven, nine, but I don't have any five dots there. And that's in that Kong position. So I think maybe I'm going to do this instead. This is not, this is just like, sometimes it's a crapshoot. I'm just telling you, as long as you know what you're doing and what you can potentially do, you just got to go for it. Because you know what? Not everybody's going to see these tiles exactly the same way. Oh, so that's very nice. I got a three crack. So I've just added one more tile to my any like numbers. Would love three BAMs because I would like those for my green and have the three cracks be, you know, be my um, my pair. And of course, I would need all three of those. But I wouldn't give any of that up at this point because it could I could end up playing line one. I just don't know. All right, so we're gonna go with this, this, and this I'm sending out another one crack and there's one out that I split up so not the best scenario but I want to build my hand so I'm going to go for it let's see what happens courtesy pass look at that I got my two so now and another five that five back so now I have this is second hand from the bottom consecutive run right here. Two, three, four, five. With like numbers being another option. So I have the beauty of flexibility. Now, I only want to pass one tile right now. In person, none of my opponents are going to take one. Well, at least the friends I play with will say no thank you because they'll know I've got some great tiles. Uh, but the computer is going to say, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to do one. And I got back the two that I had originally. And let's see. Now I have one more two. Uh, not to make it more confusing. I have a two BAM, a two dot, the soaps, and four BAMs. I could even keep track of 2024. Oh my God, crazy. Now I'm East, so I have to discard. So that might not be a possibility here. Yeah, it's not gonna be a possibility. I am East, as you could see right under my picture here, it says East, so I have to discard. So I can't keep it all right now. Here we go. Two bam, so. All right, so here's a soap. As a newer player, you're gonna be like, oh my God, can I call it? Yeah, I can get it, let me get it. And yeah, I could call it for any like numbers, line number two, but it would not make any sense to do that. I'd be locked into that hand early on and have no other options. So I have to say no. So there's another one. Hey, that hand may not be in the picture. At this point, I need jokers because if a two dot goes out or a four BM or a five BM goes out, I'm not going to be able to make any calls for a hand without jokers. So I just say ignore. Four crack. Not what I would prefer. Now I got two more greens. Uh, 
in all honesty, that any like numbers is a bit of a dangerous proposition. Um, because I don't have any reds right now. And I'll show you. Let's make that hand so I could just show you what I'm thinking here. You've got to have pairs in that hand, two of them. And I would want to protect them at all costs. So if I were to protect them, then the greens I wouldn't even need. Right? But if I were to get reds, and I were to get the three BAMs, then this would be very nice. Actually, this way, sorry. If I were to get the BAMs, this would be my Kong of threes right there. But I cannot risk, to be honest, and do a hand that I don't have any pairs right now. I have one, but I don't have anything in the right order or strength in that hand to commit to it. So I'm better off with two, three, four, five. And let's see what else I could keep as another option. If I start getting flowers, I could do two dot, three crack, and four bam. That's a very small bit of line number three under consecutive run with my pair of flowers missing. But at least I have like another option, which is nice to have. Okay, so let me move these back. Oh, I think the, uh, the dragons are not going to be in my picture, but I'm going to hold the greens. Uh... I already gave up that two up there, so I can't get that back. But there is a run with the matching dragon in consecutive run, which is line number five. Maybe I'll keep that for now. I don't know. It's kind of uh, just going to be, I think I'm going to have to get rid of this. Two, zero, two, four. Yep. I don't see a reason why I'd keep that. Flower. Oh, uh, there goes one flower. Three dot. three dot. And there's a three dot, which I would not need because that would be a pung in that two, three, four, five. All right. Now I'd like to talk three about dot. discarding one and dot. priorities. My rule is always get out the freshest tiles first because those are the ones that if somebody needs them and they're not set to call them, just like I couldn't make a commitment to those soaps early on. You make their hand harder to make. Get out fresh tiles, the ones that are not on the board yet. Then you could double up, et cetera, et cetera. Seven crack, five dot. Okay. Um, now I do know the card. So I do know there's a hand here that's very pretty. And it's pretty nice right now. It's a concealed hand, but it's the bottom hand under consecutive run. And it's right there. Two, three, two, three, four. And the hardest part of that hand is right there. So now I've got two pretty good hands. If I could get some jokers. <laughs> Hello, joker god. Give me some jokers. Um, let get rid of that so, soap right now. So I could, the, the greens will go next. I mean, I don't think the greens are going to be in my uh, picture here. Five, bam. All right, so I have no jokers. So if I wanted to call that for the two dot, three dot, four, bam, five, bam, consecutive run, second hand from the bottom on the right side, I can't. This is why you get tiles out early. You make it hard when you don't have jokers like I don't. One, bam. Oh, look at that. All right, so now I'm going to get rid of the greens. And my two hands that I'm keeping track of are two, three, two, three, 
four, three suits, bottom hand, consecutive run, or two dot, three dot, four, bam, five, bam. But I got how many here? Four, eight, ten, and four, eight for the other hand. So the concealed hand is stronger. Don't shy away from a concealed hand because if the tiles are leading you in that direction, Green. just go Four with it. Crack. Four dot. Five crack. Call one dot. All right. So we have a caller. I got to move my little windows out of the way. because They're blocking me. Um. Five cracks, and I always take a look on the board when I'm playing on the table. And if I know that that five crack joker is available for exchange, I want to keep that in mind. Always look around at your exposure so you don't miss anything. All right, I'm going to ignore that. Can't call it. Don't need it. North. Five dots. All right, now I got another two. And I have a green. So I also have two, three, crack, four, five, bam, as well as two, three, dot, and four, five, bam. And actually, two, three, crack, four, five, bam is stronger now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine that way, and I think 11. Four, eight. Oh, hold on a second. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. So 11 that way, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 that way. Okay, so the concealed hand Green. is still Green. the best hand right now. Flower, call south. And we have a flower. That's going to be sucked up immediately, I'm telling you. <laughs> um, I wish I could get it, but we'll see. Eh, no. All right, so I am going to go ahead and get rid of the two BAM uh, because I still don't want to give anything else up quite yet. Two BAM, three BAM, four BAM. Well, there's a four BAM. Now, what went out earlier? The five BAM. I couldn't call it no jokers. Four BAM's gone out. If I were to do two, three, four, five, I don't have jokers, but I'm still further away from that hand. Even though it is exposed, less risky. South. Okay. Well, my mind is kind of made up, guys. Okay. I mean, I'm just saying, how in the world would I not grab the opportunity at trying to make that bottom concealed hand? Whether or not I actually make it, it's beautiful, right? I'm going to discard one tile right now, and I need one more good pick, and I'll be set to make my next call for Maj. Look at that. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what happens. We're going to try it, though. Five bam, seven crack, four dots. Five dots. Okay, so um, I'll get both the five bams and greens have been out. I'll do the five bam since, I don't know, I just say to myself, there's already two greens out and only one. No, there's two both out. They're both even, Steven, as far as which one I would get out priority-wise. So uh, we'll do the five. Five bam, south. Eight crack. Eight dots. I'd like to know where my jokers are. Now, I only need a pair of fours for that bottom consecutive run hand. But since one's on the table and I have three, that other four BM is what we call a very safe tile. You know, it it's extremely safe because I've got all of them. So is there a guarantee that somebody isn't using four BMs and has a bunch of jokers? No, but good chance that it's safe, pretty safe. So I'm going to hold that one and throw the green instead. Green, east, call, south, one crack. Oh, now the sixth BM, I know, I could tell 
It's almost like I could smell it when it comes in. Um, it's not out there. What does that say to me? I got to get it out right away. Don't hold tiles that you think you shouldn't be discarding because you don't see them. You do that later on in the game. Right now we have 59 tiles left. So the first, after the deal, you have 99 tiles to play with. And the first 33 tiles are the begin game. And then once we move into the, the remainder 66, we're getting into the middle game. So we're just in the middle game. I uh, got to get it out. Big spam, north. That's nice. Nobody could call it. Maybe they weren't set already or no jokers like me. We'll see. Nine dot. One dot. Okay. Uh, eight crack, I know, did go out early. Two of them went out early. So, again, just eight get crack. it out now. Two crack. There's one two crack. I don't need it for that hand. Two dot. I've got mine. There is a two dot that I would love, but I can't call it yet. Big spam. Green. Nobody wanted Nine those dot. greens. Two dot. Oh, there's another one. So what this tells me is I need one joker. I need one joker for sure for those two dots. Because I've got two and two are going out and I can't call it for Mahjong. Seven, bam. Seven crack. Six bam. Six bam. Seven dot. I'm amazed that flower's up there that long. Call one bam. All right, so we've got a flower, a five crack, and a seven dot. You think maybe I'll get lucky enough to get one of them? Woo! Seven bam. No. North mahjong. All right. Okay, well, somebody beat me to it, and I got very close without any jokers. My goodness. Let's see what Wes was playing. Congratulations, Wes. Uh, flowers, one, three, five with the matching dragons. Uh, the cracks and the matching dragons. That is under, if you look here to tell you what everybody's playing, line number three under one, three, five, seven, nine. And then Agatha was playing any like numbers, line number one. And she was struggling for her hand to come in. She wasn't formed very well. Joe up here is playing Winds and Dragons line three, uh, coming in, but still three tiles away from Mahjong. And uh, I was, you know, just two tiles away. So not bad. Uh, tough competition. And Wes beat me to it. And that's the way the game goes. Only one of every four people can play. But if you come, if your hand is forming nicely and things are working out the way you want them to, you got to be very proud of how you played the hand. Don't always get hard on yourself if you don't mahjong. Let's start another game. First Charleston. All right, let's get my tiles sorted. And I, what are these things here? They say Joker on it with a cute little heart for the O. Oh. I like those. Yay. Okay. Uh, now, do I have any multiples? I have reds. So I want to, no other multiples. So I'm going to see what I would like to work off of the reds right now. Uh, well, for one, two, four, six, eight, I have no two, four, six, eight in cracks. And that's what I would need to use that. Any like numbers? Oh, it could be a potential again. Look, I like to keep track of everything I can. Like numbers with twos, since I have two, two twos, right? Uh, let's see what else we can do. Uh, I don't see any potential with the addition hands right now. Quince, hmm, not too strong at this point. I can always keep an eye out for quince if I get more multiples of tiles, certainly. Uh, consecutive run is not looking very strong, but I would keep the four if I were going to keep anything. And, and possibly the five if I could, but I, I want to keep the NEW. 
And the reason I like the NEW, and, I, and I'm skipping 13579, because I only have two odd numbers right now. Winds and Dragons, second from the bottom, has the Kongs of Dragons, and then News in the middle. I want to keep that as an option. Now, I would love 2024. Maybe somebody will pass me a soap. In the meantime, by keeping what I want and building off of my multiples and working out what I want to keep like this, I get my three tiles neatly. And that order right there, they're going. Let's see what happens. Ooh, I got another red and another oh, five. Okay. Well, I can't keep everything. We certainly know that. So if I keep this, which is risky because I need a pair of flowers, I need the south, right? But if I want to keep track of like numbers with twos as a backup, I can do that. And I could pass this. All right. Nothing came in that I really even want to consider keeping right now. So I'm just going to go goodbye. I got another two. Now I have to think about what the heck I'm going to do. Because I have to worry about that. I don't have pairs for the second any like numbers. Uh, you know, they're both very risky. One needs a single and a pair, and the other hand needs two pairs. So I kind of like that second hand from the bottom under Winds and Dragons. So I think that's what I'm going to go with right now. So I have to pass three. Uh, I think I'll... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. But if I want to mix the suits up a little bit, I'll do that. We'll see what happens. Nope. Everything's coming back again that I've already seen. Still not anything happening with. And, and this is one of those things where you say, oh, my God, I what did I get? I got one red, one thing in the Charleston. This is where you build your hand, <laughs> um, not building anything too great right now but we'll see what happens courtesy pass yikes 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 okay well we're just gonna do three and hope for the best nine dots i am a risk bit of a risk taker when it comes to these hands but i do have two jokers so that might work out in my favor let's see what happens so and I have two nines, even though I just we just got one rid of one. There's one soap. I need a I need dragons. There's a flower. Oh, this is gonna be a little challenging again, but we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna get look at the board and get out tiles that are the freshest. And if I wanna, I guess I won't keep track of I'll just keep my twos for right now. Um, nine bam, four crack, south. Oh, there's one south. south. There's a second south. Whoo, tough. Nine dot, five crack, one bam. Call nine bam. Okay, so we've got a one bam pung exposure. <laughs> And we have a pair of eights, which are really not going to do me any good. And there's one out. Makes it makes them a little bit safer. So I'll get the one out right now. Ooh, this is really, 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 really one not cat. coming in two too bam. good. There's that two bam that I had a break up before. Oh, five bam. Ah, okay. So that's a good thing that happens. You know, when they have to call like that. And I know there is a joker available here, but I'd rather them call it than me hang on to it. So I'm glad that somebody called it. Joker swap for Bam. 
call five dot. Now we have a two and a four. So let's take a look at what the potential hands are that Joe could be playing. Well, line one of two, four, six, eight on the left side, or could be on the right side. It could be. Let's see what else we can have. Uh, two. I think that's it. I think that's the only hand with a pung of twos and a pung of fours. Yeah. If you see something I'm missing, let me know. Eight dot, call seven dot. Oh boy, look at that. Uh, two, four, six, eight. So it's the right side of line one. Ooh, this is gonna, this is early to be joke, no jokers. And we're only at 82 tiles left here. That means we're at the very beginning of the game. Oh, my goodness. Flower. Okay, so there's one soap, which I would need there. I'll start eight getting rid of the eight. Six starts. Oh, now. Uh, Wes threw this out, and I'm not 100% sure whether it gives both of us the option at the same time because Joe would be the next player to get it. So Joe maybe already couldn't get it, but let's see what happens. Nine dots. That's right. Joe wasn't able to call that Kong of six dots. Whoa. That means if I get any six dots, if I pick any, I want to get it out right away. Two bam. There's a two bam. There's a nine crack. Nine crack. Three dot. Six bam. North. All right, I'm just going to keep getting out freshest tiles possible. Nine bam, five bam, one crack, nine crack. Mm, don't need that. Three crack, four bam, two crack. Okay, so uh, if I were playing any like numbers, <laughs> which is like I'm so far from it. You know, I would need that because I would want to keep my pair, at least those pairs covered. And then Joe's playing two BMs, so forget about it is what I say. We're just going to have to hope I get more tiles and flowers to Eight make crack. that hand that I would like to make. All right, well, let's see. I do not need this. Um how many norths and souths? Two souths went out, one north went out, which uh I'll just get rid of it. Uh, let me make sure. Okay. North. Two dot. Six. Twos five, is not in nine the picture. I could see right now. All right, well that helps. It helps a lot. So we will uh get rid of these twos and two dot. Eight crack. I Five need a seven. south. I need a flower. Green. I would have liked that one as another option. There's one flower. Yay. Put that here. All right. So the way this is looking is I need a, a flower or a south to be happy, right? I can call the soap if it goes out and I can call and I don't need to call the red because I have it. So now it's just a matter of will I get that single south or will I get a flower? Or will I be able to call something before that south goes out? I think two of them went out. So there's two chances left I have if Joe doesn't mahjong before me. Eight bam, west, seven crack, five crack. Oof, man. Uh, now I have twos and there's no, oh there's one two crack out already okay I doubt that's needed eight bam so okay I'm gonna call it I'm praying that Joe doesn't have doesn't pick it to make mahjong with it but I'm gonna call it because it just gets me one tile closer we're at 51 tiles left we are now in the beginning of the middle game which is the 
66 tiles left. And then once 33 tiles are left, we're in the end game. We haven't gotten to the end game yet, <laughs> but um, we'll talk through those strategies if they come up. So I'm going to call a uh, Kong. Always make sure you look at the hand, make sure you know what you're calling. So it is a Kong. Two crack, west. Six bam, eight crack. Oh, darn. Look at. Oh, if Agatha, why didn't you have a joker up, Agatha? One bam, four dot, five dot, call, seven dot. Okay, so we have two, five dots. Let's see how many are out. One, only one out. So got to watch for those jokers. Uh, Well, four cracks. I don't remember seeing that out. That's a hot tile. Uh, let's see. But I got to get it out if I want a chance of winning. If I hold it and Wes needs it, I'm going to let Wes build his hand even more. So. Four crack. One dot. Nope. Good thing. Flower. <gasps> I wish I was set for Mahjong right now. North. Four crack. Four crack. One dot, two crack, five crack. Oh, uh, I'm getting all the tiles that I don't Eight. want. One dot, nine bam, seven bam. Oh, look at that. Okay, now crack. Crack. let's hope that Wes over here, for some crazy reason, isn't playing the, the north and south, the winds, because you never know this year with this card. It's amazing. You think somebody's not playing it, but they are. Six crack. West. Ooh. Let's see. Um, one, three, five, seven, nine. We don't need, I don't worry about Agatha. Looks like Agatha's playing uh, line one on the right side or line two on the left side. So the seven bam, unless it's Wes, Wes needs it. One went out not too long seven ago. Bam, three crack, east, two dot. Crazy. All right, now, uh, you know, I could, uh, if I wanted to be jokerless, which I can't be because there's a soap out, I would possibly throw out the joker and keep the red that does alert everybody to the fact that i you know i'm playing a jokerless hand and if i have this up they're going to figure out what i might need so they may hold it at this point in the game so in this particular case i'm not playing jokerless because i can't so i'll throw the red and still hoping somebody's going to throw myself red two dot Seven dot, three crack. Darn, wow. Uh, any nine cracks gone out? No. Oh, wow, we're in the last 20 tiles, but I want to win. So it's okay if you, you know, if you, there's one nine crack right there. Um, nine crack, five crack. All right. Three dot. Green. Oh, do you believe it? Nine crack. Four dots. Somebody's got to throw my... Oh, there it is. All right. Mahjong. Woohoo! Yay! All right. Well, that certainly did work out well. Um, and in this case, I did work off of my... Oh, look at... You want me to look at him? All right, I'll look at them first. There's another south there as well. <gasps> still in the wall. Wow, the south is still there. Very interesting there. All right, well, anyway, um, you know, this was a case where my hand was pretty weak. There were a lot of risks I had to take, but it's only a game. So you've got to go with what 
the, the tiles, they kind of speak to you, you know. Um, I was very lucky to get those flowers and those souths. I've played many a games where those souths have gone out before I was set. So it could go either way, but fun, fun. Let's look and see what Joe was doing. Line one, two, four, six, eight. We knew that. And he was uh, he was set or on call, whatever you want to call it, set, ready, on call. And then Agatha was playing line two, one, three, five, seven, nine. Uh, so ones, threes, threes, five, still pretty far away. And then Wes was playing consecutive run line six. Uh, with the single tiles, the quint of flowers, four, five, six in one suit, and then a punga sevens in the other two suits. Still mm, pretty far away. And pretty good. Okay. All right. Give me one second. Um, I have a new instructor at my school, my online school of American Mahjong, and she is doing a training class tonight with some test students. And I told her I would keep an eye on my text in case she needed me, but I don't see any. So I guess she's doing good. All right. So let's start again. First Charleston. Sort by Sue. Do I have any multiples? I do. Let me put my winds and wind and dragon. Put my nine there. Now let's work off the nines and see if we can make some magic happen here. Well, the first thing I'll do is look at like any like numbers. If I go in the order of the card. And uh, then I will look at maybe some runs working up to the nine. So that would be six, seven, eight, nine. So six, seven, eight, nine. It's just the way I do it. I work around the, the multiples when I'm working with consecutive numbers and just keep the numbers before and after. There is no after because we're at the top of the rung, but six, seven, eight, nine works here. Six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, and I have no jokers, so I do have to say that the third line down under singles and pairs, I've got a, a nice amount of nines and eights and sevens, so I might keep that in mind. All right, now what about odds? Uh, one, three, five, seven, nine. All if I pull these in. One, three, five, bam, seven, bam, seven, crack, nine, crack. We got a lot of one, three, five, seven, nines. And if I want, I could do this. Yeah, the two in the soap is nice. What are the chances Joe, Agatha, or Wes are playing 2024? They could be playing like numbers. I mean, it's, yeah, I don't want to get rid of anything. So I'm going to pass it right now. And let's see. Well, do I want to keep this so uh, for any like numbers or not? Maybe I will. Let's see. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe the five. Maybe I'll do the five in the runs when I'm thinking of the run numbers. I'll do the five right now. That way I could just keep that soap for a, a little bit. And now I have a green and let's see, six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 eight, eight, seven. Ooh, nine, nine, eight, eight, seven. Wow. And now I have a one in three. Oh. I mean, the one and three for one, three, five, seven, nine. It's that's not going to be easy because I need a pair of threes and a pair of sevens if I'm doing it in the one suit, which would only make sense because I've got the, the, the pair of nines. Uh, one, three, five, seven, nine. Hmm. Nope, 
I don't think that's going to work for me, those ones right now. I just don't think it's going to help me. So I'm going to do this and I have to pick another tile. So seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. Well, you know, it's, I'm just going to try this. All right, I got another soap. I mean, another dragon. Hello, Debbie, speak up. Um, any like numbers? Still a possibility there. I guess I'm going to do this. Is a very pretty pass, but I just don't want to get rid of anything here right now. Oh, I got another one of these. Of course, I've got to continue. All right, let's see. If I wanted to keep track of that singles and pairs, but I also have the any like numbers or something with the dragons on their own. Let's see. Seven, eight, nine, six, seven. I think it's going to be this one. Wow, those are some pretty passes I'm giving up right now. Or do I want to do five, seven, seven, nine? No. Uh uh. Okay, let's see what happens here. Just going to do this. Oh my goodness gracious. I did get a couple of tiles in, so I can't really complain too much. Uh, Six, seven, three, six, nine. I'll do three. Seven, eight, nine. Hold on. Nines and dragons. I'm looking at three, six, nine. Nines and dragons. That's that fourth line down is a possibility too. So let me do these three. Flower. All right, Down. now the game starts. So we're just into the beginning game, 99 tiles and one tile out so far. Oh, I didn't see any of those going around. Um, I could keep it for a while. And I will get the one out because the one, there is another one somewhere. So I'll get that out as a priority. One dot, flower. Nine bam. Oh, I would love that nine bam so. in my hand. Uh gonna just six, seven, eight, nine, uh. six star all three crack. All right. Well that's a good reason to get it out early. Six crack. Okay, I'll take that. Five bam. So too early for me to call anything right at the moment. One soap went out. So if I do call it, oh, just tough. There's one more left. I gotta I gotta ignore it. I can't commit right now. Five bam. Six crack. Hardest thing in the world. All right, now I have a pair of eights. Um Nine. Oh boy, I'd love to try that singles and pairs, but I got a joker, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, but if I keep the eights, then seven crack, eight bam, nine dot, mix suit run, third line down, right side, if I get a couple of uh, flowers. So I think for me, I'm going to seven, eight, nine. I'm going to do this first, and then I'll do the wins. Seven bam, seven dot. Call red. All right, so we've got six seven. So he could be playing six seven eight nine in one suit or two suits, second from the bottom consecutive run. Uh, or he could be playing the fifth line down under consecutive run, four five six seven. 
or what else? I think that's about it. Those two, that's it. Okay, so here's a, a red again. I would love to call it and just commit to one thing, but it's early and I just don't know what I'm doing. Five dot. Don't know what I'm doing yet. Two dot. Nine crack. Nine crack. Yeah, I want it. Call eight dot. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'll grab the joker. That'll be a good thing. So. Seven crack. So I'll grab it because I could use that for wherever I need it. Obviously not for a single or pair, but I will grab it. Uh, but you know what? Let me hold off until I, that makes Joe jokerless. I'm going to lose a lot of money. So he's playing six, band, six dot, seven dot, eight crack, nine crack, second from the bottom under consecutive run. I can hold off uh, for a little bit if there's any eight cracks that go out then i know he's not going to be jokerless and i'll call it uh, so i'll throw out the south south four bam two dot four crack i need a lot of help here okay here's a really big decision right we're at 77 tiles. We're not even into the middle game. We're not done with the begin game, which is the first 33 tiles. That is potentially Joe's Mahjong tile. And there's so many tiles left that, yeah, my hand could come in. I don't have to be thinking, well, I only have four picks left. There's no way I'm so many tiles away. I want to take a chance if I give him Mahjong it's just a game. If he doesn't call it, I'll grab the nine crack, and then I know he's not going to be jokerless. Okay. It's the way it goes. <laughs> but I had to take a chance. It was way too early in the game. Congratulations, Joe. That was a really quick win. Uh, had a chance of getting your joker, but uh, he wouldn't have been jokerless anyway. <laughs> All right, so um, six, seven, eight, nine, of course. Consecutive run line seven for Agatha, which was uh, the two suit run on the right side of that line. And then Winds and Dragons line three for Wes. Oh my goodness, he was really far, far, far away. North and south with six, five, six, or six, seven. Seven dots all the way down there at the bottom at the end there. All right, let's go again. First Charleston. We got time. Uh, it's five, almost five to five Pacific time. I have to keep my conversion in my head. Uh, thank you, Marion, for uh, joining in, and I'm glad that you enjoyed it. We'll see you, I get hope again soon. Marion, watching from YouTube. Bye-bye. Okay, let's do this. Oh, three jokers. Oh, I get excited when I have three jokers because I want to go quince. Quince, quince. I have no other multiples. Bummer. But let's see what we could do. So let's look at the first hand under quince. Seven, eight, nine. Beauty about these Quint hands is that several of them are bigger parts of the other section. So this right here, seven, eight, nine with the flower, flower seven, eight, nine is line three of consecutive run right there. Very nice and neatly. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Now we're going to circle back to Quint line two and we're going to go to three for a second. And that would be two numbers in a row, two consecutive numbers. So seven, eight, seven, eight, or eight, nine, eight, nine. I have a seven, so I could grab that. Last quint hand, flowers with dragons and a, any like uh, any um, quint of numbers. Well, I don't have any dragons, so that's kind of weak. Let's circle back to line two. That 
hand can be made 864 ways. Yes, 864 ways. You didn't hear me wrong. Any two numbers, any two suits, and non-matching numbers. So seven and eight would work there. Seven dot, eight crack. Uh, there would be other things that could work. I do need a wind, so I'd have to keep that wind. So right there, and I even have like numbers with sevens going on right here. So I'm very happy with that. I'm going to mix this up and do this. It's looking kind of exciting. We'll see. Or you know what? Do I want to keep the five? For five, seven, nine with the dragons, line three. I might want to keep that. Five, seven, nine. I just I need reds, but I have three jokers, so I think I'm gonna keep that. Okay. Hmm. Nope. The eight would work with being another option for the that line too, but I can't keep everything. So let's see, seven, eight, seven, eight, but seven, eight, seven, eight would work. So I got to look at that. That's line three, seven, eight, seven, eight, right there. All right, so I think this is going to go. Seven, eight, seven, eight, eight, nine. Oh boy, this is going to be challenging because I want to keep it all. Okay, seven, eight, seven, eight is very pretty. And then eight, seven crack and eight dot with a wind would work very nice or eight, nine crack either way. I have a first left. Isn't it funny? I got that red too and I gave away that five. So I don't think I'm going to go that way. I could either do a blind pass or I could get rid of the nine and just hope I get in something else. And line one for seven, eight, nine in the quince is not as strong as seven eight seven eight or line number two so um i'll do a blind pass i also have seven eight nine consecutive run as well darn maybe i should keep that one instead seven eight nine i think so I think that's got to be what I do right now. Oh, my goodness. I'm like torn. Uh, now I have a West. So the question is, do I keep those? Get rid of something else? But then, no, it, uh, I can't get rid of that flower. I don't like to pass flowers. Ooh, this is tough. I got to continue. I think I'm going to keep that 789 as a backup. And I'm going to just go with, I'm going to hope that I can get 7878. I'm going to need the pairs or 789. Risky, risky. I don't want to get rid of any of this here. But I'm doing it. I'm not going to go for that other hand. I got an east. It's not a west or the north. So, oh, well. <laughs> Amazing, right? All right, let's see. Line number four, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I have a nice uh, backup, too, for the quince, besides for the seven eight nine dot line three on the left side i also have line four seven eight nine consecutive run very nice okay so 
this is what I'm going to do. Now I can keep track of seven, eight, seven, eight points or seven, eight, nine. Really, this is the, this is, looks like it's going to be the hand. I need an eight crack, but let's see. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's a little weak right now with tiles, but it's looking pretty darn good. So we'll see. Quint, seven, eight, seven, eight. 789, 789. We'll see what happens. Let's do it. Courtesy pass. Not what I wanted. So we'll do two. Flower. Oh, nice. That's nice. Okay. Two bound. Just, Flower. Now I know I passed that. So that's a good reason to get that out. You'll remember if you're a newer player eventually. You know, uh, Carol said seven, five, four, east, seven, five, four, east. Carol, I'm confused. Give me the section and the line number. My head, my brain is not working Stop. right now. So. Okay. Um, I like to get wins out early if I'm not considering holding them so i'll do that east seven dot okay and for that seven eight seven eight or seven eight nine seven eight nine i need a single so i don't need it so two crack oh look i don't need the crack i don't need it but i need to hold it because of that flower seven eight nine so uh let me get rid of this actually let's look at it real quick Flower, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so this is the safer hand because I can call, well, no, I need a single flower just like I need a pair, uh, eight craft pair. So nonetheless, I don't have to make a decision yet. This is seven, eight, nine. Line three, left side, consecutive run. The other one is line four, seven, eight, nine, dot, seven, eight, nine, crack. So I don't have to make a decision yet. Three dot, five crack, three bam, four dot, Just five dot. Until I get a tile or have to make a decision bam, about a call. Six crack, seven bam. One bam. Just discard. Flower. And that helps you speed things up as well. Four flowers out. South. Three <laughs> bam. Three bam. Three dot. Mm, any reason to keep that? Nope. So. I'm not changing, crack. keeping track of another hand, especially when two are out already. Eight crack. All right. So there's one of my pair for that fourth line down. So I've got to keep that in mind. Six bam. There's my flower. Okay, so now I've just secured my flower, which means this hand here is the way to go. I can call every single thing. I no longer have to worry about covering the, the pair. And this is what I'll do. So are there any nines, eights, or seven cracks out? None are out. So I'll just take one at a time and start getting them out. Nine crack, north. Eight bam, three crack. Uh, two dot is not out, but since I had these in my hand for a while, I'll do these. There is an eight crack out, so actually I'll do the seven crack first. Seven crack, six dot. Seven crack, south. All righty, nine bam is not out yet, so we'll do the nine bam. Nine bam, nine bam, seven dot. All right, there's one uh, seven dot out, so at least there's only one joker up for grabs. I feel better about that, so we'll call. Make sure you're calling for the right amount. A Kong, four light tiles. Kong. And 
two dot nine bam one crack let this work it goes since i know i don't put my jokers where they go until i know that's where they go <laughs> uh because otherwise you might mess up and think you can't use the joker somewhere else if you need it uh so keep it uh flexible and maybe keep it up at the top of the rung eight crack green one dot nine crack all righty. Um, flowers, if you're not using them, you do want to get them out fairly early, depending. There's different flower strategy. Uh, sometimes if they're not out, I'll hold them for at least until the middle to the end of the middle game, uh, hoping that somebody else might call another discard, discarded flower and put it up with a joker. It's a risky thing to do. I do play with it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But when right now there's four flowers out, I have two. So that's six right there. I have the seventh one. If I discard it now and some one of the other players needed a pair, their hand's going to be like dead, right? Or they're going to have to switch out. So in this case, I will be smart and get rid of it right now instead of holding it. Flower. Red. Oh, Carol said 7.54 Eastern Standard Time. Oh, my God. My brain is talking about Mahjong. So EST, I was thinking East. I'm thinking, I'm looking for <laughs> Thank you, Carol. <laughs> that's funny. One dot. One dot. Oh, that's very pretty. Okay, so now I will, let's talk about how, once I discard this, I could do a joker exchange for a seven dot. I could pick a joker. I could call a nine dot. I could call an eight dot or pick them. So the more ways you have to mahjong, the better chances you're going to have to win. So in this case, I'm very, very well set. Somebody else mahjongs before me. It just, that's luck. That's it. Pure luck. Two dot. Green. One dot. Nine crack. Five dot. Green. Nine crack. Red. Three crack. Five crack. Now we're at 39 tiles. We're almost in the end game, which is 33 tiles or less. Three. It's in thirds. Begin game, 30, first 33 tiles. Middle game, second 33. End game, last 33. Three crack. Six crack. Eight crack. Three crack. Nine dot. And there we go. Mahjong. Okay. Not too hard, right? That's the way it's done. There you go. All right, let's see what Joe is playing. Uh, line three wins and dragons, east, west with the four, five with the consecutive numbers. Boy, he was not even close. And then uh, West was playing 2024 line one, uh, 2024. Boy, we haven't. Nobody's really played the 2024 tonight. Uh, also far away. And then Agatha consecutive run line seven with those three single tiles. Oh, my goodness. With the three single? No. Consecutive run line seven. That's not it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, second from the bottom. But far away. Like his hand, her hand was not coming in at all. Hmm. Okay. Um, oh, Karen left. I don't know what time she left, but she left. Karen, thank you for being here if you're still on. And yes, I'll see you Monday night. Before I forget to tell everybody, Monday night, if you are at all interested in playing in tournaments and you haven't yet and you want to learn what it takes to play in a tournament the rules the scoring the table rotation monday night is a special live stream event that i'll be having barb and jen from 
uh, the tournaments are going to be with us. So uh, please come and you'll get to talk to them after I do my presentation. Uh, they're, they're lovely and, um, you know, they run, they're the mother daughter team that run Mahjong fever tournaments. Great. So you'll be able to pick their brain as well. Get yourself feeling comfortable with playing in tournaments. They're a lot of fun. They really are. Uh, okay. So I think I have time for another game and we'll go on and play right now. First Charleston. Sort by suit. I don't see any of those jokers. That was a nice, that was, those were nice. I mean, I would love to do a quint hand, but when something else is just right there and coming out, I mean, it's kind of hard not to, not to do it. Right. All right. So let's go ahead and go ahead and sort by suit, which I already did, and then work on multiples. So threes and the greens are multiples. Move this here for a second. Well, I automatically see like numbers right away. So I'm going to keep that three. And if I'm going to consider like numbers, I keep the dragons always because I know that there's only three hands under that section. Uh, what else? Consecutive numbers around the threes and fours. Well, that would be three, four, five, or one, two, three. Also, I like three, six, nine as well. Uh, flower, three, six, nine with the opposite, with an opposite dragon would be really nice. Or even that fourth line under 369 with the threes and the dragons. I've got a bit of that going on right now. See? No gaps in that hand right there. No gaps. So I'm kind of happy with all of that right now. And I think I will get rid of this. Oh, wait a minute. Do I want to keep that for 369 for any reason? 36. I don't think I'm going to need it, but I could get rid of the one. And then, oh, oh, Carol says one, three, five greens. Good call, Carol. I'd rather do that. One, three, five with the greens. It won't help me with that pair of threes, but I could still get rid of this and keep track of that. Or get rid of this. Like that better. Okay. Oh, look at that. So it looks like my threes and dragons is popping up as a higher right there. Threes and greens and uh, bams and greens and cracks and Red sets the fourth line under one uh, three six nine. I don't need that. Um, the ones and threes and fives with the greens is certainly nice, but I don't know that that's going to be happening. Is it happening? I could do this one. Oh, I got a pair of fives too, so that does help. All right, Carol, let's see which way it, we're going to go. Oh, look at that. Uh, one, three, five dragons with the flowers. Wow. All right, so here's the deal. Um, looking pretty. This is line number three on the left side, one, three, five, seven, nine. Looks pretty, but I need two pairs. I've got a part of both of those, but I need two. Uh, right now, I could call the three bam or the green if it were to go out. I'm going to have to choose the safer of the two hands. That's how you make your decision. So let's do a blind pass here to see if I get in anything that gives me any clue as to which way I'm going to be going. Of course not. You think? No, it would not happen. 
So let us do this. I can call the three crack or and the three bam. And I need one good tile to be able to call, one tile to be able to call the green and the red. Man, you know, I still also have a potential of any like numbers line too if I got more threes. But this is the safer choice. It is the safer choice. So I have to continue. It's sad. A second <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to do that and that. Um, I am going to break up the fives because if I don't, this is what I talked about early on. If, let's say, I don't break up the fives and I get in two tiles that I want to keep, let's say I get a three dot and a, you know, another three crack or three bam or something like that, I'm not going to want to pass the flower and I would end up getting stuck with the pair. No, don't want that to happen. So this is the way it goes. And look what happened. I got in a three. I got in another red. Look at how strong line two is of any like numbers right there. As still the line four of three, six, nine just got stronger. Look at how lucky I am to have three tiles to pass, even though I know I got rid of the five BAM. So there's going to be two out there. But mm, exciting. All right. No, no dice here. Courtesy pass. And again, no dice for that. So. All right. It is what it is. I've got three tiles to discard before I have to make any kind of decision. Uh, and I will go ahead and start with my the wind. Left. Six crack. One dot. Five dot. Um, I do like to get rid of the ones that were going around in the Charleston first, just in case somebody had to pass a tile, uh, give up a tile. Seven crack. Seven crack, one dot, four crack, call, seven bam. All right, we've got a four crack joker exchange available. Three crack. And now we have a three crack. So I could commit to line, now this is early, but my hand is formed very nicely. I can call the three crack, the red, the three bam, and I only need one tile to cover that green. So this is one of those situations where it makes sense for me to call. It's not too early. Most of the times it's too early. So I'm gonna go ahead and commit to it. I'm gonna move this down. And I'm gonna call the three, line four, three, six, nine. And it's a pung. Call. And I'm gonna just start getting rid of what Five I don't crack. need. Five crack. All right, we got another call with no jokers. Flower. Call five bam. Now I won't it won't get to me now without somebody exchanging it, guaranteed. But let's see what happens. Oh, please, nobody have a flower that they're gonna exchange. Six dots, joker swap, oh. nine bam. Darn. <laughs> Call one oh, bam. Oh my god. Like numbers line one. Wow. Nine crack. Oh, is this going to be Wes's Mahjong? Let's see. Five nope. crack. So he's not set to call that nine crack. Six crack. Eight dot. Four bam. Six bam. Uh. One crack, eight dot, four bam, five bam. Okay. That's very nice to be in that situation right now. Seven bam, five dot, nine crack, five dot. 
Okay, let's see what we're going to have to get that flower out as well. Uh, four. And I always hope that I can hold it for a little bit, and I probably can. Uh, let's see, I'll do the three dot. Three dot green. Okay, so I'm going to call the green for a Kong. Call five dot eight dot five bam. Eight bam. Call one bam. Okay, so uh, two four crack. Six, eight, bam, second, first line, right side. It could also be line two of two, four, six, eight. So line one, right side, line two. And that's three, four, five, four, five. So, yep, those are the two that it could be. All right. Three, bam. Okay, so three, bam, I am going to call it. For a pun. Oh, flower. East. And now I need a joker or a red. Eight dot. And I can honestly say that if any of these guys gets it, they won't throw it. So I need a joker. Or I need to pick my own red. Seven bam. Oh, somebody's going to call. Agate is going to call this. North. No. Nope. Four bam. One bam. Seven dot. One crack, seven bam, one dot, south. One crack, seven crack, one bam, west. And I'll be jokerless if I were to pick it on my own or hopefully. South, two dot, call, nine dot. All right, we've got a call and there are two oh we got lots of jokers for exchange right now uh oh shoot joe's tile oh i'm going to take a chance 50 tiles left i'm still in the middle game i have a great chance of winning if i give mahjong i give mahjong what can i do two crack call seven crack all right it was a call and not a mahjong Joker swap, three dot. East, five crack. Joker swap, south. South. All righty. Uh... Five crack, six dot, three dot. Flower. <gasps> oh, look at this. Mahjong and it's Joker list. Self pick 55 points. Well, I have to end on this note. I have to. Sorry, I'm ending a little early, but I have to end on this note. All right. Well, that's the way you play the game. I hope if you were new tonight that you picked up a few things. And please do consider joining on Monday night. Registration is on my Facebook page under events. You can find it there. Uh, please register. Registration is required. So I hope to see some of you there. And thank you guys so, so much for joining tonight. Um, by the way, if you are not, if you're still here, don't forget, let me stop sharing. Uh, pick up a copy of Unlocking the Secrets of American Mahjong. The new version of the book, Timeless Edition. You play with a timeless card, never expires. Great gift. Hanukkah, Christmas coming up. Grab one. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. It was really fun. Bye-bye.